um, a pinup kind of rockabilly hairstyle with short hair. My hair is now chopped down to about here, you guys will see. And um, it doesn't make it any different. I can still do just as many styles of my hair, uh, but it's just a way more healthier. Okay, so you just want to do a side part, whatever side you want your uh, front curl to go. Grab a couple of clips out so they're easy to, to get. And then you'll just want to do about an inch of hair. In the front. And then just grab your straighteners or your curling tongs and just run them and twist them at an angle and bring the hair straight up. After you've done this as fast as you can before the hair curl, uh, cools down, just roll that curl and then pin it with your glow clip. And then continue this for three or four curls. And this is gonna kind of be your front swoopy bang. Obviously if you have bangs, short bangs, um, just skip this part. So those are your front rolls. That's just gonna give you a nice big roll in the front. And then, you just continue with the roll all the way around your head. On this side, you want to just part and you want to go the opposite direction to your bang. So you have a nice part. So just take your section and go down and then just pull it straight from your head with the straighteners. Or just curl them however you usually curl using a curling wand. And then get them curled up before your hair cools. It's basically the secret to your hair setting is just making sure that you get that curl set before it cools and then your curls will last all day long. So you've got your bang curls going this way and your side curls going this way. And then I go from the top because I want to try and get a bit of volume in the crown. So I'm going to do two on the very top. curls too tight because you want to try and get this volume on the top making sure you're always curling under and try not to keep your um, straighteners on your hair for too long because that heat will damage your hair and also if you're too slow with bringing the straighteners down, it'll kind of create crinkles in your hair. I've kind of just always curled my hair this way, but I'm going to try some different ways soon. Um, I do have hot curlers. I've used um, hot curlers a lot before, but I tend to find that the curl doesn't stay in my hair very long. So this is, has just been the best method for me keeping that curl, especially if you're out and then at shows or doing events. You don't want all your curls to drop out of your hair halfway through. So I'm just going to continue all the way around, making these big curls. Okay, so now you've got all of your hair pink curls. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super neat, this is just setting those curls. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of hairspray and just set those curls in. Make sure you use a flexible hairspray because you don't want crispy curls. 
And now usually um, I do this before I put my makeup on. So I will just leave these curls to um, cool down um, just while I put my face on, which usually takes about 20 minutes. Okay, so now you've let all your hair cool down and it feels nice and cool to the touch. Um, you can start taking your curls out. This is a little time consuming. So once you've got all of those um, little clips out, you can just use your fingers and just start pulling out those curls. Try to be kind of gentle. So you don't pull them out completely. So this is how it looks straight from being decurled or declipped. And now you can just use a teasing brush or you can use like a fine tooth comb, whatever you like to tease with. And I just start at the crown and just kind of brush those curls. And then just give it a really good tease of the rune. When I tease, um, I find that if you kind of try to do like a kind of a C shape put into your hair, like this. You get it. And just make sure you get plenty of volume in the back because the last thing you want is to have all this height and then just a flat back section. If you want to, you can also use um, texturizing powder. It's really good for teasing if you have um, hair that damages really easy or super fine hair. Um, you can get these little pots of powder. It's like a, it looks like talcum, it's like white powder. And you can pop that a little bit of that on the root and it adds texture and volume. But I have such thick hair, I don't really need it. And now you can just kind of mess around and just use your fingers to make those curls lay whatever direction you want them to. Now I'll just pop a little bit of hairspray on. I like to add a little bit of volume on the sides. And now you can start working on the top section. Right now it's really flat. So I will just take that section and just start teasing it at the root. And just section as you tease so you get it. Plant your tees in there. And the more you tease, the higher you're going to make that curl. I like to make mine pretty high. And then just, if you brush it up, and then just brush it over your fingers. And just use your fingers to start molding whichever way you want it to go. And just use those curls, however the hair starts to sit. Try and work with the curls that your hair, the direction that your hair is already going in. And it'll just make your life so much easier. As you can see, I've done like a little curl right here and just flip this over. My bangs are still pretty short because um, I did have belly bangs for a really long time and then just from colouring it all the time, they just never seem to grow. So if you have a longer bang, you can do a really nice big swoop and flick it out on the end. But I'm just kind of working with what I've got, which when it comes to bangs, it's not enough, a lot. So once you've got your hair looking how you like it, that's when you can just pop tons of hairspray on it and just lacquer it in place and then make sure if your hair is short like mine that you have it even on each side sometimes if you have a little bit that's hanging down um, just tease it and tuck it under 
So this is my kind of short pin-up style. It is not very tidy. I'm not really one of those kind of super clean, perfect curl kind of girls. Um, I'd rather have it kind of a bit bigger and messier. Um, obviously this is a freshly washed hair so again if I do this again tomorrow um, and repeat this process I'll definitely be able to get it much bigger and uh, bigger curls but this is on clean hair. I did not take very long at all as you can see I mean it's really just the preparation and having the time to do it real quick right before you uh, put your makeup on the back. I can't see the back so hopefully it looks good. <laughs> so again thank you for watching. I hope that this um, hairstyling tutorial helped you out and I hope you'll give it a go and um, if you do have longer hair I do have another tutorial for uh, pin up hair for your longer hair ladies and also even with my hair short like this I, do can, I can still wear my hair extension so if you keep seeing pictures of me with long hair it's just my weave. So um, thank you again for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.